What's going on my reefing fam? March here, Fragbox TV. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about a question we get a lot, a lot, a lot here in the store. And that is which salt do we use on our aquarium? So I can tell you right now, we use the exact same salt for every single system here in the store. And it is this one over here. So we're gonna talk about today, what's the best salt, but also which one we're using. So I'm using Red Sea Coral Pro. This is kind of recent for me. I really like the Red Sea line in general, um, their products, th what they do. They've been around for a long time. I like the salt. It's what we're using on every single system. We probably don't need to use it on our cleanup crew system. If you haven't seen this in the store, this is our new invertebrate cleaner crew kind of section, but we're using it there. We're using it on our fish system. Just a little heads up. These very cute fifth, uh, clowns that are normally like 30, 40 bucks are on sale this weekend for $15. It's kind of a weekend special, but we use the same salt there in our main coral beds. And then again, in all our display tanks and in also our farm that's in the basement We're using the same salt. I like the Coral Pro. It's consistent batch to batch. It's 70% actual salt, like natural from the ocean. And then 30% of it, they add additional elements. So you have elevated sort of calcium, magne uh, magnesium and alkalinity. One complaint we do get from people is that the alk is too high so it is it does mix around 11 to 12 for us that's not really a problem i'm going to talk to you in the next video about uh how we water change the systems here in the store because it's very unconventional how we're changing the water especially here in our main kind of coral bed so that high alkalinity doesn't really affect us for most people i think that's okay unless you're going to go like acropora sps dominated you're keeping like lots of nice hard corals then I would recommend to you to go with the salt that's a little bit lower on the alkalinity. So that's gonna be, I like, well, for us, I really like this Aquaforest one here. So the reef salt mixes around seven to eight DKH. And I like that in every single batch, they give you a little like ICP analysis um, test to show you exactly what the parameters are because naturally from bucket to bucket, from batch to batch, salts are gonna be different. I know that Matt here, he's just having his lunch break. He used to use Tropic Marin and that was, uh, Tropic, right? Tropic. Yeah, Tropic, he's a big believer in Tropic Marin. It's very expensive. So, but he used that for a long time. People that use it love it. This is the one I would recommend if you're kind of keeping like uh, hard coral. If you're gonna go mostly SPS just because the alk is a little bit lower and we tend to want our alkalinity to lower closer to about seven to eight DKH. I don't think it matters all that much unless you're diehard SPS and then you really want it lower. This is the same one here. We just call it blue box or blue bucket. It's just the regular red sea salt. It's uh, consistent batch to batch. They're not the cheapest. So a bucket normally, well here in Canada is like 90 to hundred bucks. I'm not sure what it runs where you live. What I used for years before we switched over to this, uh, like for the past 15 something years was this uh, reef crystals. It's quite inexpensive, readily available. It's pretty cheap actually. And I got some of the best color and growth on all species of corals right across the board using this salt for years. And I don't think that the salt you're using is all that important. What I'm going to say is go with a good salt, but don't change salt. So what I find is a lot of people will change salts week to week or month to month, whatever, whenever you're buying a bucket based on what's on sale, your tank kind of gets used to all the elements that are in the salt, the, the specific gravity, the calcium, the alk, everything that's in there, your corals and your aquarium kind of become accustomed to it. And when you go and change brands, it can be quite a drastic change. There's another salt I like that we don't carry anymore, and that's called H2O. I believe that's the only one on the market that is 100% natural reef salt uh, ocean salt without any additives. I didn't say enough about this though. I, I actually really do like the Aquaforest one. So that would probably be like the second runner up. Why am I using the Red Sea one? We had a shortage of reef crystals uh, back a couple of years. I was forced to pick another brand of salt. I went with that one and I was really impressed on how quickly it mixed, but also how clean. So in our mixing, like 150 gallon mixing tank that we have in the basement, naturally salt kind of like builds up this brown, sludgy, crappy shit on the side. I think you notice that, actually there's the question of the day. Do you notice that when you're mixing your salt on the outside of your container, reservoir, bucket, whatever you're using, do you get that kind of brown, crappy, sludgy buildup? Um, I believe it comes from 
just the way that they make the salt calcium if i'm maybe someone out there that's watching knows why we get that buildup calcium hydroxide calcium chloride calcium something uh, somebody told me once why we get it it's it's not bad it's just precipitation and it's kind of ugly and it, it shows up on the outside but i was really impressed with how clean the red sea mixed i didn't get that residue that i'm used to and it also mixed very very fast so for us that's important sometimes we need water readily available we normally have 100 and rough about 100 gallons on hand ready to go 150 ish gallons of salt water just in case it's good to have salt water waiting uh if if you need it so what's the best reef salt for me it's going to be this one i'm never going to switch from this i've had really good results proven results it works on every tank the the corals love it i love it everyone loves it it's our most popular salt by far maybe because i'm always preaching it and people ask us what to use and you know or they ask us what are we using and then i point the finger at that one so maybe that's why it's our best seller i really like it though that's our recommendation for today i'm not trying to sell you any products so when i look at the youtube viewership 70 or 80 percent of you people uh you people sorry my reefing fam are not even in canada so we can't even sell to you it's like the people that are watching here it's a very small percentage of the channel it's somewhere between like 10 and 14 percent and then of those people i can't sell you salt because you don't it's so darn heavy you know um i can't ship it to you you got to come here into the store to pick it up so a lot of the stuff that we're talking about on the channel it's just things that we use and we stand behind i really like that salt i'm going to say it's my favorite reef salt matt's going to disagree and say that tropic marin's the best very expensive salt and that's it for today's video if you like this episode of frag Box tv please subscribe we try to do a video every single day trying our best sometimes uh we don't have the time the store gets quite busy but if you like it subscribe and thank you for watching this episode of frag Box tv